Hello friends, this is fourth video on phenylalanine metabolism and today we will see catecholamines, mainly epinephrine. So let's start. Catecholamines are derived from tyrosine. It includes epinephrine, norepinephrine and dopamine and they are produced by adrenal medulla and sympathetic ganglia. Now we'll see the formation of epinephrine. Tyrosine will be converted into dopa dihydroxyphenylalanine by the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase which requires NADPH and tetrahydrobiopterin and one atom of oxygen. Then dopa will be converted into dopamine by dopa decarboxylase enzyme which is pyridoxal phosphate dependent enzyme and one atom of CO2 will be liberated. Dopamine then converted into norepinephrine by the enzyme dopamine hydroxylase which is dependent on copper and vitamin C. Then norepinephrine will be converted into epinephrine by the enzyme N-methyltransferase and active form of methionine S-adenosyl methionine will be converted into S-adenosyl homocysteine. Now we'll see mnemonic to remember this pathway. Now this is the sequence phenylalanine, tyrosine, dopa, dopamine, norepinephrine and epinephrine. Mnemonic to remember this, pretty thin dietitian develop nervous emotion. Pretty phenylalanine, thin tyrosine, dietitian, dopa, developed dopamine, nervous, norepinephrine, emotions, epinephrine. Enzyme for first, second and fourth step is hydroxylase. Third step is decarboxylase and fifth one is methyl transferase. Now this is how you can remember this whole pathway. Epinephrine is mainly produced by adrenal medulla and adrenergic nerve endings and it is stored in chromaffin granules and released into the blood. Now we'll see actions of epinephrine. Epinephrine and norepinephrine increases the blood pressure. It also increases the rate and force of myocardial contraction. It causes relaxation of smooth muscle of bronchi. It is anti-insulin in nature so it increases glycogenolysis and stimulates lipolysis. It is released from adrenal medulla in response to flight, fight and exercise and hypoglycemia. Now we'll see degradation of epinephrine. Epinephrine will be converted into metanephrine an active form of Methionine S adenosyl methionine will be converted into S adenosyl homocysteine and the enzyme is catechol or methyl transferase. Then metanephrine will be converted into vanillyl mendelic acid by the enzyme monoamine oxidase. Normal level of excretion of vanillyl mendelic acid is 2 to 6 mg per 24 hours and it is increased in pheochromocytoma, epinephrine excess and in neuroblastoma that is norepinephrine excess. So that is all about epinephrine. If you like this video then please press like button and also share this video to your friends and please do subscribe this channel for more videos on biochemistry. Thank you.